Hi, I'm Wes. I'm the owner and principal civil engineer at Westex Inc. In this video, I want to talk about residential infill developments, specifically within the town of Oakville. Whether it's your first time or if you're a seasoned developer, understanding the steps involved in getting a dream home built can be overwhelming. This video is here to act as a guide to help through that process. I'm going to cover four aspects of the civil engineering scope, being your survey, your grading and site servicing plan, stormwater management, and construction review. For the survey, you'll need two components. The first component being a legal boundary survey, and that will need to be completed by a licensed surveyor, or OLS. The second component being a topographic survey, and that's a survey where the existing elevations and all the features on site are picked up and turned into a digital format. It's important for that contract to include some wording to make sure that the topographic information for the adjacent properties is picked up as well, as that information becomes very important later on for the grading design process. For the grading plan, what we're looking to do is to take the stormwater runoff and direct it away from our house and our site features and primarily direct it towards the municipal right of way, either into the roadside ditch or into a storm sewer. One of the greater challenges of specifically residential infill projects is the existing lots are often nearly flat and so we need to create some system to create enough slope to push that water towards either the uh, municipal right-of-way or into our stormwater management system. The town of Oakville has different requirements for commercial projects versus residential infill projects. So how the information is displayed on the drawing and what information needs to be displayed. Um, so it's important to note whoever you hire to do that work has some experience creating drawings specifically for residential infill. The last thing to consider is if you want either a walkway from your driveway or around the side of your house to your backyard um, and or if you have a landscape plan that's being developed, I recommend getting that information included on the site plan so that the grading plan can work with those features and provide a proper solution. Often those features are added later on and differ sometimes significantly from the proposed grading plan, which makes lot certification uh, challenging and can cause a lot of problems. For servicing, we'll look to reuse the existing water and sanitary connections on the public side and provide new services on the private side. In order to be able to reuse a service, it needs to be, first of all, in good condition, and second, at the correct size. So we need our water and sanitary to both be at the size that we need for our new, often much larger house. If those conditions aren't met, then we'll provide a new service. For sanitary, we'll also look for that service to be deep enough for our new basement, which is often deeper than the original basement, to drain by gravity into that system. There are other options if that's not possible, such as a sewage ejector pump, uh, but we always look to avoid pumping sewage wherever we can. For stormwater management, the town of Oakville requires that the first 25 millimeters of water are captured and controlled on your site. Typically that control means capturing and infiltrating into the ground that volume of water, but throughout the town there's many areas where the soils are either impermeable or there's high groundwater, so infiltration doesn't act as a proper solution. And in those scenarios, we can design alternate solutions, such as shallow buried storage, storage systems that outlet to either a nearby ditch or into the local storm sewer. 
it's important to note that the town requires a catch basin, a uh, concrete catch basin, typically with a bird cage lid um, or grate on top of it for taking that stormwater and getting it into our system. Many homeowners are kind of shocked when they see that catch basin get added as part of the design. Um, but that is a requirement by the town of Oakville. Also important to note for your landscaper that all of the roof rainwater leaders or downspouts need to discharge to grade with a concrete splash pad and they cannot be connected underground directly into your system. Often when we come do our construction inspections, all the downspouts run underground and in order to get that site certified, we need to have that system removed and the rainwater leaders discharged to a concrete splash pad at grade. And finally, we'll talk about construction management. For construction management, it's important that your contractor notifies your engineer whenever any of these systems are being installed on site. So the water, sanitary, and stormwater management systems. Your engineer will come out and inspect each of those systems, make sure the, any existing components are in good condition, the correct sizes, are available, the correct materials are being installed, and for specifically for stormwater management and your sanitary sewer, we'll check the inverts and location and make sure those are being installed as per the design. Once the grading has been completed, the engineer will come back out and do complete an as-built survey measuring that each of the features were installed at the correct location and elevation, specifically your swales and all your surface grades meet the minimum to maximum slopes per the design. Here it's important that the design is, or the construction is built exactly per the design. That makes certification very quick and easy. If features have been added, such as walkways down the side of the house, or the patios significantly larger than the design, maybe a shed was added in the back corner where a swale is supposed to be, that makes certification very difficult. Um, and either the design needs to be modified, sent back through the city, wasting a lot of time, energy, and money, or components of the site that have been installed then need to be revised and removed, also expensive and time-wasting. Um, so it's important that those are captured in the design phase so that they can be approved by the city, the design can incorporate those features, and then the construction can be exactly per the design and certification can be quick and simple. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions on anything I discussed in the video or any problems you have or questions about your development, please feel free to reach out.